Hi, I'm Jenna, and this is episode 57, I think. <laughs> um, I was kind of in a hurry to sit down and uh, record today. Let's see, I I was on the go all morning. I had um, an eye doctor's appointment, which I am sporting my new glasses, because I had uh, posted a picture on Flirt, and uh, I had just gotten them, and I wasn't too sure, because I felt like they were kind of big for my face wide. They're definitely bigger than my old glasses and uh, a lot of people are like, I didn't even know you wore glasses. And I do and I have contacts as well. So a few people suggested that I wear them. So I will because I'm totally in love with them and I splurge. I only get new glasses about every four years or so. Um, gosh, I have an aunt who I swear like it's new ones every year. So I kind of splurged and got a more expensive pair than I than I normally would if I was getting them every year or two years. So I like them. And oh, so today I just I had to go for contact fitting because my prescription changed a little and it's windy out, so my hair is probably a hot mess. And I went and it was so nice. It's so sunny today. So I'm sorry if I get glare, which is why I don't wear my glasses because I don't want glare. Um, so I went out and I got my new self a new lip gloss and I got some new nail polish because I was out and about and kind of having a little me morning. And then I had to stop at the grocery store and get stuff for dinner. Yay. <laughs> so, um, Big hello to uh, returning viewers and new ones as well. Um, I want to give a really big shout out to Michelle of Dancing Dog Dye Works because I was kind of having a rough week. Um, I talked last week. I've had several, well not several, three dental appointments in like the last two weeks. Yesterday I had one so if I seem a little, I'm all worried I'm a little puffy. Um... I think it was just dreading to, uh, yesterday and, and the time change messed with me and it was dark and rainy and Monday and I was just having a really crappy day. Like the whole way around as we all do at times and um, the lovely Michelle sent me lovely flowers and I just wanted to say a huge thank you because she's amazing and I am so so lucky to have such a wonderful friend who thinks of me in that way. I'm like aww. <laughs> So thank you, Michelle. Big loves and hugs. I can't wait to see her in June. I think I was telling someone on VK, and I'm probably going to monopolize her time. Sorry, people. <laughs> um, we have a giveaway. So the giveaway is for plus size crochet. Fashion that fits and flatters by Margaret um, Hubert. It retails for $19.95. It is put out by Creative Publishing International. So there's lots of lovely patterns. Unfortunately, Ravelry did not have this book in their library to look through all the patterns. But there was kind of a look inside thing on Amazon. So I put a link so you could flip through that. So I did not pull for that ahead of time. Um, because I was just trying to get everything situated and um, so I gotta pull that up real quick Let's see who the winner all right random number Ooh. done generate come on the, the winner was number five so number five is Go on to Ravelry. That's why I normally don't do this anymore, do a live drawing, because it just seems like it takes forever. Alright, number five is Crazy Maria. So Crazy Maria, who I'm assuming is Maria. <laughs> Let's see what her Ravelry profile says. Maria, I was right. Please um, PM me on Ravelry with your um, full name and address, and I will get that shipped out to you. Okay. Um, also, um, we got a generous prize donation from Fiber Addiction. 
So she sent a skein of uh, fingering weight yarn. It is called Welcome to the Jungle. It is superwash merino. You get 410 yards of fingering. And I love this because I love greens. I'm like, I pulled it out of the envelope and I was like, oh, like total like Homer Simpson drooling, you know. It's gorgeous. Some lucky winner will get this. Lovely, lovely. My prediction, I love the little sheepy. And then she also sent a bump of fiber. Oh, yes, she did. It is called Never Neverland. It is Falkland and it is 4.2 ounces. And this is gorgeous as well. I love the pops of blue in with the green. And then at one end, there's kind of pops of like purple and almost like a little bit of a rust color. I think this is going to be ridiculously beautiful, all spun up. Especially if you do crazy barber pulling. But that's because I love crazy barber pulling. Just me. To me, that's like one of the fun things of spinning. So, um, I'm still trying to decide how we're going to do this because I know not everybody's a spinner. So, I think what I might do... Because I think this would be a great toy. So I will, um, for the Maggie, the Mama Owl knit along, I will pull a number and I will check and see if that person's a spinner or not. If you are a spinner and you are the first number I picked, you are getting the fiber. If you I pick a number and you are not a spinner, you will get the yarn. <laughs> and then we'll try if. And then a second person will get vice versa because we will find a spinner because this is gorgeous. And I think it would be an awesome toy. But that's because it's my favorite thing to knit out of my hand spun. Because sometimes if you have hand spun, especially if you are knitting it thick, I always seem to spin my hand spun a worsted weight. I haven't got anything lighter than I think a sport. Yeah, I haven't got a fingering yet. And, um, so, I immediately see, like, pretty bumps of fiber, and I go, ooh, toy. <laughs> so, speaking of the knit-along, for March, we are knitting Maggie the Mom Owl. This is knit out of Dancing Dog Dye Works with bright tropical blue for the top. I love this blue. I'm not a big blue person, but if I had to pick my favorite shade of blue, this would be it. It's so bright and beautiful. And then the bottom is out of owlies. And I'm like, how can you not make an owl out of owlies? So you have until March 30th? I don't, or is there 31 days in March? I can't remember. You have until the end of the month. <laughs> I will try to remember lock the thread at um, midnight. If anything, it'll be the next morning. So if the thread's not locked, and it is like early morning, April 1st, you can still put your owls in, and it won't even be an April Fool's joke. <laughs> so, um, the other knit along we have going on is a crochet along, and I'm really pleased that a lot of people are really happy about it, because I know there's not always a lot of crochet alongs. Um, crochet alongs are not something I'm going to do often, because I just don't crochet often, but I'm doing a um, technique series, so if you haven't watched in a while or you're a new viewer, um, 2013 for me is year of the technique where I'm trying to revive some techniques that I haven't done in a while and expand on some ones that I'm maybe not so good at. Like color work. We will be doing a color work um, knit along at some point. <laughs> I'm just not very good at it. I mean I can do it but it, it takes so much concentration and effort. So, I don't have any finished objects this week. Um, I've had so many appointments. Like I said, I've had three dentist appointments in the last two weeks and three, um, well, two eye appointments. But then I had to go in and get my glasses and they do like a fitting. So, in a way, three. So, I just haven't been home much. I haven't been online much. Um, I check Plurk probably more than anything. I've been trying to keep up on PMs through Ravelry. That's probably the best way to get a hold of me is through Ravelry. 
so I have lots of works in progress though. Since we were just talking about our crochet along, I am making a zigzag afghan. It is out of an old Crochet Today magazine. I think it's like from 2007 or 2008 when the magazine was still quite new. So last week, I think I was like on the first row of the green. So I just started it. So I got through the green, the purple, and I'm halfway through the blue. So I am making this for my daughter and she likes bright girly colors. So, oh, my skein fell down. So it is all being made out of Red Heart Super Saver because I have a total crap ton of it and I don't know what else to do with it. So I am trying to stash bust and try to knit down or crochet down my Red Heart stash because I really don't, I don't touch it at all anymore and I really don't know what to do with it. Like there's not even really many places to donate it. So this is the back side so I will trim all the parts because I go and I weave in my ends before I switch colors. I'll, I'll cut my tail and weave in the end. So I don't have to, I just have to go and trim them all off when I'm done. I don't like having to go back and weave in all the ends. So, like I said, it's hopefully will fit a twin size bed when I am done. Next up is my Wren cardigan. I cannot remember who it was. It's by Maggie Grace Smith or something like that. I don't know. It's a Juniper Moon um, booklet that I got at an LYS. And now originally the sample in the booklet is knit out of um, like a sky powdery blue. And the buttons are all off to the side. Well I just did the simple math and I straightened it up so all my buttons will go down the front. I'm not sure about the buttons yet. I don't know what I want to put there. I need to go somewhere where they have some really nice buttons. And I don't know where that place would be. <laughs> All I really have is a Joann's. And it stinks because the Joann's I like to go to has like half the buttons of the other Joann's that I'm not... I just don't like where it's located. It's like a town that I just don't like to... I mean, they just don't have enough to offer except for the Joann's. Because it's like a Joann Superstore. But the town I like to go to where there's an LYS and the Hobby Lobby's right across the street from Joann's. Although I hardly ever go into Hobby Lobby anymore. I, they don't just have a whole lot that I, I'm looking for. Um, but there's like no button shops, no specialty shops. Um, the LYS has some buttons, but they're usually like big chunky buttons where you only usually need like one. So there's not really a lot of little buttons, so I might have to look online, but I want something cute. I was thinking about just like white kind of pearly buttons, kind of make it a little retro looking, but I'm not 100% sure. The yarn I am using is Quince & Company Lark, which is their worsted weight. Um, and the color is called Wine Sap. So I'm getting there. I'm thinking I'm a third of the way through the body and then I it just has little sleeves little like cap sleeves and I love this yarn I love it so much it is so soft and squishy it has this wonderful spring back feeling when you squish it so not a whole lot of progress but little and then last but surely not least in my awesome Doctor Who bag <laughs> are my Doctor Who socks. So I worked on these waiting at the dentist, waiting at the eye doctors, and oh, I'm kind of in the middle of a row. So I am knitting these out of, what am I knitting them out of? Um, I'm in the middle, or I have a few stitches left. Uh, Knit Picks Felici in the Time Traveler colorway, so the stripes. The top though is Knit Pick Stroll in the grass colorway because the one thing I noticed when 
I saw the time travel color, traveler colorway is there is no green. It's supposed to look like um, Doctor Who's scarf. What is it? Doctor the fourth Doctor? The sixth? I don't know. One of the other... I, I would know it on another day, but not today. It's not coming to me. Um, his scarf, and there's green in it, and there's no green. Um, I'm cool with all the other colors, but I think the red's too bright. I think it needed to be a bit darker. So, I am doing After Hot Thought heel socks because I'm going to go and do the heel in the green, the grass green, and then the toe in the grass green. So, I already have put in for my After Thought heel a piece of scrap yarn. I don't know if you can see it. It's between the gray and the cream here. So... But I love the fleecy base. Be like, look, I'll knit on camera for a moment. Because <laughs> I never, I am a continental knitter. I am self-taught. I crocheted first. So when I was learning, or learning myself, teaching myself how to knit, I just automatically thought you held the yarn the same as you do when you crochet. Well, then I went and... I was trying to learn out of a book, which was not going well, and I went to the library and I got some DVDs. There were like three different ones, and I got all three, and I watched them all. And between the three, I learned how to knit <laughs> correctly, but the first DVD I popped in, and they were showing the English style of knitting, and I'm like, what in the world? No wonder I can't knit. I was doing it all wrong. Well, I couldn't do it that way either. I cannot stop, flick the yarn, and go. That drove me nuts because I can just continuously knit, 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 knit. And so finally, like, they showed that demonstration. As I was feeling like I will never be a knitter, I guess I was just meant to crochet. Then they were like, now we're going to show you the continental method of knitting. So someone... um. I don't know if you can had mentioned that they heard that it was easier to purl English style. And I can't, I can't knit and I can't purl. I have tried. It's just something in my brain doesn't compute. And so this is me knitting, talking about my sock. How you doing? <laughs> okay, I'll stop this row. I just sometimes wish I had somebody to like. Oh, and I was just getting to the yellow. Um, wish I had someone that to like chat with so I could knit a little and everything. That's the only downside to not having a co-host. So that's just sock one. Like I said, I was just getting past the heel. Oh yeah. So I got some yarny goodness this week. You're all gonna be jealous. So the wonderful Michelle Danton Dog Dye Works and I are in cahoots a lot because we love to work together. Um, she helped give me a start and she has um, said I have contributed to her getting her foot in the door. So with, you know, customers and because I was one of the first people to buy her yarn and knit it up and be like, oh my god, this is the best stuff ever because it is. And um, so I love to work with her and she loves to work with me, which I makes me feel very privileged. So I have been wanting to design a shawl. <laughs> get that L in there. Um, if you haven't seen previous episodes where I've talked about it, you are, you're lost. And I apologize. But, so I wanted to design a shawl. And she was like, well, I have some shawl yarn. And I'm like, oh, yes. So, it is 600 yards of 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere. And 10% nylon. So she has a um, MCN base called Jive. But the twist is not as tight as this. This is called Twist Lux. And it has a nice tight twist on it. Like her twist sock yarn. And it is gorgeous. So I was allowed to have any color I wanted. And I really like beach glass. Because I bet that's what some of y'all are thinking. Well, this is deep beach glass. And I said over here the original beach glass because for me it's a little washy-outy for me, I think. 
So when you compare the two, you can see this one's much lighter. So I think this works better. It's a bit of a bolder color. So I will be designing with this. Um, okay, I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm kind of sick of stockinette or garter stitch shawls. Like the whole part and then just a lace trim. They're beautiful. I've knit several of them. I love lace. I have a passion for lace. I love it. I love total lace shawls. I love doing the advent calendar scarf. Knitting lace makes my little knitting heart sing. And so I really want to do a very lacy shawl. And let me tell you, there's a lot more math involved. <laughs> um, it, it's, a, it's just being a slower process than I thought it would be. I mean, I didn't know. I think like, oh yes, I will design it in an hour. And it was nothing like that. I knew it would be a challenge for me being a toy designer. But it definitely, I think, was even a little more than I was expecting. But I'll get there. And then it'll be beautiful. <laughs> um, spinning! I don't have anything all spun up. But I do have something on the bobbin. Oh, it's so pretty. It is um, Greenwood Fiberworks. Uh, 100% Polworth. This was my last club shipment. Her clubs run for three months, which I greatly appreciate. Because <laughs> then I can afford them. I've never done a long-term uh, club, unless if it was like monthly. Like, into the world I pay every month. And I'm more than happy to do that. I can't afford a whole year's membership of something up front. That's just not feasible for me. So... I love this. It's called Sea Glass. I can't remember if I said it's 100% pole worth. So it'll probably be a worsted weight because my singles are knitting up to be um, about a fingering weight. Which is good. That's It's what I want. Because I think this is going to be an adorable toy. So you have a very light aqua blue. Um, a beautiful like chartreuse kind of olive, avocado-y, because it's not olive. Olive is more drab. Um, and then beautiful pops of a gorgeous blue. I mean, the colors just work together so nice. And I am going to make it super crazy and barber pulley because it's what I like. And it will probably be a toy. So this is two of the four ounces, and... I think I have to have it done by tomorrow to enter it into the spin along. So probably tonight I'm going to spin my little heart out and try to get it done. Because I really want to enter the spin along. And then I do have one thing of fiber goodness. Oh. <laughs> so I've been trying to avoid updates for things. Because I really I don't need anything. I know anything I buy will probably just go in my stash. Not that there's wrong anything wrong with having stash, because I have my fair share, trust me. But I'm like, I just, I don't need anything. I'm going on the, to a retreat this year, and, and come May, um, Memorial Day weekend, is the Great Lakes Fiber Fest in Worcester, Ohio, and I will be going this year again. And I probably am not, I am not spent planning to spend a lot, but I want to be able to go and find a few things. And I saw the link for the Highland Handmaids update, and I pretty much look at every update of hers. Because I adore Heather, and I adore her, her colors, and I clicked on an update, and guess what she had? She had old appliances. Now, I have tried to get this colorway before. And I'm always too slow. One time I had it in my cart and PayPal wouldn't let me check out. Like there was a glitch. And so it sits in your cart for a half hour. So I waited the half hour, put it back in my cart. PayPal still wouldn't let me check out. It happened three times. So for like an hour and a half I was trying to buy the stupid fiber and it wouldn't let me. But that's okay because you want to know the best part? Not only did I get old appliances... I got old appliances on Polworth, which is my favorite fiber to spin. I'd spin nothing but Polworth if I could. 
So there's these beautiful, deep, rusty, orangey reds and browns and this kind of, I don't even know how, drab kind of aqua green. And it's so funny because I have old appliances on yarn and the yarn is more green and red and this is more orange and like a blue, blue to like a bluish teal. And anyways, I'm so excited to have it. I'm like, mine, all mine. And then I did get a button, because I love to collect buttons. I have her old button as well. And I got two, because my daughter likes to collect buttons with me. So I got one for me and one for my daughter. And that will go on my button bag. Yay. It's so squishy. I love it. I'm so excited. I was like over the moon. That totally made my day. If I could have splurged and got two, I would have. <laughs> But I was good and I only got one. Like that's been hard. I've been trying not to buy and people have been having amazing updates. And I always feel bad when people are like, there's still stuff in the shop. And I'm like, oh, I'd buy something if I could. <laughs> so that's it on the knitting front. So... I'm going to go into a little slice of life. So if you're leaving me now... um. As always, I totally understand, but if you want to stick around, I always love having you as well. So moving on, um, I had posted on Plark, I ordered a Fitbit. Um, I had heard people talking about it, I think someone had asked about it on Plark, and I wasn't like, what the heck's a Fitbit? And then, I... It. it was the, there's a Weight Watchers group on Ravelry, and I think I saw someone on there mention it, and then, uh, oh, what's her name? I'm so bad with names. Denise! <laughs> I'm sorry, Denise. Denise of the Knitting Den had talked about it, so I kind of was, like, looking into it more, and, uh, so then I had to stop in the Verizon store for something, and Verizon had them, and I didn't buy mine there. I ordered mine through Amazon, and I'm actually wearing it. Okay. I keep it clipped right on my bra strap. <laughs> so this is my Fitbit and it's little. I mean, it's little, little. And they say to either clip it into your pocket with the Fitbit itself facing in. So I guess in case Fit breaks or something, it'll go in your pocket. And then in the instructions, they show you, like, clipping it. And they say clip it to your bra. But they show it, like, right in the middle. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. But then I think I'm like, they have, like, little, you know, commercials you can watch on their website. And someone had it, like, right, you know, on the side. So that's where I keep mine. So it's it's really neat. So I, I had bought, I got to back up a little. So I wanted a pedometer. I had a pedometer that I had for years. But the battery's starting to take a crap, and it was kind of cheap, and I think I got it was like some freebie promotion thing I got. And I'm like, okay, I'm willing to invest. So the first one that I had bought, I bought the Weight Watchers, um, let's see, um, pedometer. So it's supposed to show, you can set it to either all day, so you wear it all day long, or active. And it'll tell you how many steps, and it'll also tell you how many points. So you go through and it'll say points plus, how many points you earned. It also has distance, I don't know what that is, time, date, and that's it. So it clips on, so you open it up, clip on your pants, and it's kind of neat because it's it looks like it's upside down, but it's not upside down because when you look down, it's right. It's really sensitive too. And then it has this extra like security strap you can put on it, which I used it. So it's a little bulkier because like if you're wearing it on your pants and you have a fitting shirt, it makes it sticks out. Anyways, I noticed it's not accurate. Like, I would take two steps, and it would say I took five. I would count my steps. It would be like, count to 12. It would say I took, like, 18. <sighs> well, what good is that going to do me? Right? So, like, even just shaking it, 
It's like the no it just went from 86 to 91. Come on. Now it's not moving anything. Oh, now I just jumped to 90. Oh, I'm not even moving it and it just jumped two steps. I'm and it doesn't come with very good instructions at all. And I'm just I'm just so disappointed because it was like $23. I don't know if I can send it back. I think I'm going to eBay it. <laughs> and somebody else can have fun with it. And it never shuts off. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I'm done with it for the day. So, I mean, I could have gotten a normal pedometer. I'm fully aware of that. There's a good pedometer. I think it's like 20 some or around $30 on, um... Amazon. It had great ratings. But I'm like, I like things that are interactive. So the Fitbit. <laughs> I thought I just heard something. Sorry. I know UPS is supposed to be bringing me a package today. Okay. So the Fitbit comes out. It's actually looks like a little pebble. This is the size of it. It's, I don't know, a bit bigger than a quarter. It has this little case, because this is how it comes, and you pop it in a little case. It comes in four colors. It comes in blue, um, kind of like a sporty blue. Um, the lime green, which I have, of course, because I buy everything in green. They had a gray, that's kind of like a gray, grayish black. I think it was called charcoal. And they have hot pink. So... Your Fitbit has a little face. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh, my little face went away. And it's kind of reminds you, went away again, of the little Tamagotchi. Remember those? They were big when I was in high school. <laughs> so, I don't know. See the smile? Um, so it'll smile at you if you're doing good. And if you're, like, being lazy, it frowns. I guess. Anyways, you just tap it. And you tap it. Come on. Okay, there we go. And it says the time has your steps. So I've taken 3,774 steps today. I have not done my workout yet. It has your distance. So I've gone 1.62 miles. And I have burned 1,323 calories. <laughs> and you just tap it. And it goes back to the smiley. So this you just wear during the day. Now there is the, this is the Fitbit Zip. Now the Fitbit One is bigger it's more of like a clamp looking thing and it's twice the price. This was, I got it on Amazon for $47. So it was kind of pricey. I kind of hem and hawed about it and it had good reviews and I thought, well, it's worth taking the plunge. So the Fitbit one is like $100. Even on Amazon, I think it was like $99. And that one you wear at night and it has a wrist strap that's kind of wide in my opinion. And you slip it in the strap and you sleep with it. That would drive me nuts. It was not worth twice the price for it to tell me how many hours I slept. And I think it tells you like how restful your sleep was. But I, I didn't need something that extensive. So the website set up kind of like my fitness pal. So you can go on and you can log your food. You can It'll keep track of your calories. And if you already have an existing um, my fitness pal, I think it's my fitness pal. There's another one I had heard of. I've heard people talk on Plurk. Um, Spark People, I think. And there's like a list on their website of other apps that you can link to. That this will, like all your food and stuff will go in this. Because like I said, you know, you can log your food on the Fitbit website as well. Now, the nice thing about the Fitbit is that it has an app. So you also have to download a program to your computer to get started. After you start your account and stuff, there is an app. And I did download the app. Now, the first time I downloaded the app, it seemed all right. And then, like, the next day I went on, and it was acting all funny. So I just deleted it and reinstalled it last night. Oh. It says my host, the host cannot be found. Try syncing again. Um, so now, <laughs> you can go on here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it it gives you all your stats right on your phone. So you can scroll up, it has your weight. Um, I did put my food in here the last couple days since I got it. I just got it two days ago on Tuesday. 
which is kind of nice because Tuesday is my weigh-in day. And um, so I'm just curious how many calories it will let me eat compared to how many points, just because I'm curious. I think I'm definitely sticking with Weight Watchers because to me, counting my points is so much easier than counting calories. So it'll ask you how much weight you want to lose and then how fast you want to lose it. And I think they'll let you lose it like a half pound, a pound, a pound and a half to two pounds. And I picked one and a half. Um, so I already put my dinner in for tonight. And after my dinner, without any like snacks for this afternoon or a small dessert, I still have 324 calories. And it has water. I mean, go through. You can track your activity. It keeps track of your steps. So hopefully it shows that. I'm not getting a glare. It has your weight. Um, friends. The only friend I have so far is, um, Tammy, who's Darth Knitter of the Proverbial Knitter Podcast. And then there's more. And it's, um, your food, your water, your account, and stuff like that. So, so far, since I reinstalled the app, it's working great. You know, no problem. And then, I think it, like, automatically syncs when you're within 20 feet of your phone my phone's almost never 20 feet away from me. And then also on my computer, it'll sync with my computer when I log, when I get on the internet and go to the website, it'll sync. As long as you, there's like this special little USB plug, and I keep mine plugged in, because I don't have a whole lot. Um, so when that's plugged into your computer, it'll sync with this and all your stuff will up update automatically on their website. So, um, so far, I'm liking it. So far, I've really enjoyed it. The battery is replaceable. It's just like the little round watch batteries, you know, that are, I don't know, between the size of a nickel and a quarter. And I like it. So far, so good. So, um, I'll try to give you a little update next week, since it'll be a full, full week that I've been using it. Let me clip it back on. We're all friends, right? <laughs> Okay. See, and I don't, I think it's rather discreet. It's right here, and you can't really see it. So, I wear mine all day. Oh, so, that's pretty much all I have for that. Um, I had a great way in this week. I had a really hard time this week not wanting to eat everything in sight. Like, I all of a sudden had, like, all these cravings for things. Like, I wanted pizza so bad. I had not had pizza in about almost two and a half months and my dog's at the door. You can hear her tail smacking the door. Sorry. So, um, you know, I luckily I budgeted. I had enough points. I went out for pizza and it was the best freaking pizza I ever had just because it had been so long. Um, but I did. I just, I really had a trouble with cravings this week and I fought them. I did not go over my points. Um, one day I used like one extra, one of my points plus. So I really stuck to it and it was so hard. But when I got on that scale and I lost two pounds this week, it was so worth it. So I don't mention um, how much I weigh every week to be like, look at me. <laughs> but to let you know, it's working. It's working to hopefully encourage you to keep going because there are rough weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. There are weeks I don't lose much, or there was a week I gained a little, and it's stressful. And then when you fight your cravings or whatever, or you have a bad day, and you don't go for the potato chips, or you don't drown your sorrows in snack cakes, <laughs> um, and you get on that scale, and you have a big number, and it's so worth it. So, um, like I said, I stick with the Fitbit. I enjoy wearing it. Um, this morning I got up and we were running a little late this morning and I forgot to put it on for like the first half hour, 40 minutes I was up. So I'm like, oh, it has, I did, I took steps today that it didn't get to track. Um, most of the time I forgot I even have it on. I check the app on my phone more than I'm like peeking into my shirt. So, like I said, so far the steps seem accurate. Every time I take a step, it's like I'll count out like 5, 10, 20 steps, and I'll like look at it before and after, and so far it's been accurate. I'm hoping the distance is accurate as well. You can put in your stride for walking and running, and I have yet to do that. So it kind of does a guesstimation. I think it goes by your height, how wide your stride should be. 
So that's at least what Weight Watchers did. The Weight Watchers one, when I put in my height, it gave me a suggested stride of 27 inches and it recommended that I not change that. Oh, hey, look, since I've been <laughs> sitting here holding this, I've taken about 50 steps. <laughs> it, oh, look, I just took like 15 more. Oh, boy. So, other than that, I did give up on the We Active program. I just, I was only getting like between 22 and 27 minutes and to me that was not enough. I did not feel I was getting a big enough workout so I kind of went back to my sweat into the oldies and you know all the videos that I've been doing that I enjoy where I'm doing a minimum of a half hour. So I did give up on that. I feel kind of bad about that. But if it's not working why stick to it? I mean I wanted to do it like for a whole week but at the same time, I felt I wasn't getting a good enough workout. And I'm like, if I get a bad weigh-in, because I was just like, no, we're going to give this a try, I would have been I would have been sad. I'm like, why do that to myself when I feel that it's not working? So, that's it for me. Not a whole lot of changes. Like I said, a lot of time sitting at the doctor's office and dentist's office and all that other good stuff. And lots of driving. I'm like, ugh. I'm not one of those people that's like, yeah, I just want to drive forever. So. Um, hopefully I'll have a finished object next week to show you. Hopefully. I do know I have um, a new product to show you that I think is really cool. I think it's cheesy. I don't know. But I'll have that next week to show you. So. I'll let you know what I think. And I, like I said, we'll give you an update on the Fitbit. So until then, I am Jenna, <laughs> Richard Lemon on Ravelry, Plurk, Twitter, Pinterest, Weight Watchers, and Fitbit. <laughs> so I will see you then. Bye.